welcome student in earlier video we see how to complete the part now let me see how to complete this assembly so let us proceed click on a new now click uh, assembly give the name sql assembly click on okay select mms assembly design click on okay to add a component you just go here assemble where from where you can add a component click over here now whatever the earlier part you made in that particular folder you can see all this part click on the first part you can see a preview by just click on preview over here and call that part on assembly plane by click on open what are the first part you call for that part you have to provide the constant type fix or default i select here fix earlier a status is no constant once i select fix then you can see a status fully constant click on done then call a next part that is guide pillar click open okay temporary you can on up the plane by click over here i off the plane and coordinate also for more clear picture so i go in a placement click on align align the axis of this guide pillar with the axis of the hole on the base plate okay here we can see a constraint status is partially now to restrict the another degrees of freedom you go in a new constraint select a constant type mate and you can mate this surface of guide pillar with this bottom surface of the base plate if you see like this you just click on a this arrow to change the orientation of your constraint and click on done if you see here the status become fully constant now as earlier our holes prepared by using the pattern command you just select on this guide pillar click on a pattern option you can find reference tab activated over here and just click on done so this guide pillar is inserted appropriately on that particular hole size then go in a assemble tab call a guide bush open that guide bush go in a placement to apply the constraint type so apply the constraint type to circle of the guide bush and circle of the guide pillar though the constraint is partially so for apply a new constraint click on new constraint type and click on mate so here we have to mate this top surface of guide bush with the top surface of the guide pillar flip the arrow or uh, flip that direction by click on the arrow and give the offset of 30 mm so i provide here minus 30 so it comes down click on done select here again click on a pattern reference tab get activated so you can find bush at the appropriate locations then call the top plate you can orient or you can move or you can translate the object by just click over here move you can find the motion type translate orient rotate okay you can translate likewise or you can also rotate this object likewise then you go here align this axis with this one again new constant type mate this top face with this top face again it is not align so to make it align go in a new constant and align the axis if you see here you can find some offset in these two axis just select this axis okay and you can find your 
assembly is fully constrained. In this way, we complete the assembly. If you want to see the exploded view of this assembly, simply go in a view from the pull down menu, go in a explore, and that you can find the option explode view where you can find the exploded view of your assembly. Again, to regain it, go in a view and unexploded view. In this way, we complete our assembly. Thank you.